welcome to another week in the Royal Children's Hub. Today is going to be an amazing time of fun and learning and dancing and singing. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. I'm ready, ready, ready. All right. So before we start this fun day, what do we do first? We start like Jesus did. We start by praying. So join me, kids. Put your hands together. Close your eyes and let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for another great day in your presence. We thank you for the opportunity to learn again. We thank you for the opportunity to grow again. We thank you because we are one step closer to becoming your friend. We give you all the praise and we pray that as we learn today that your words will stick in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen! Woo! I'm already excited, and you know why I'm excited, right? You know why, right? It's because we are about to go for praise and worship. It's time to dance. I already have my dancing shoes. I'm already vibing to the music of praise and worship. So let's go, children. Let's go and dance and dance and woo!
Wow, that was explosive. I danced so much. I danced so much. I'm starting to sweat. Like, I felt so much energy. I felt the power of the Holy Spirit. I was like, mm. I was just, you know, you know. Yeah, but now we're back and it's time for us to look at our word for the day. So this month, we've been learning about the Holy Spirit. We learned that He is our guide. We learned that the Holy Spirit is powerful and now we're going to learn about what the Holy Spirit does for us. So the Holy Spirit guides us and it gives us power but the Holy Spirit also helps us. Yes, the Holy Spirit is our helper and that guys is our word for the day. The word for today is helper. Helper. H-E-L-P-E-R. Helper. Everybody say helper. Yes helper. The Holy Spirit is our helper. Now what is a helper? Who is a helper? A helper is a person who helps other people. It's pretty easy, right? Yes. A helper is a person who helps other people. So for example, you're walking down the road, you know, it's a good day, la 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 la. You're just walking, enjoying yourself and then, oh no, you're about to fall and someone just holds you in that moment and you stand. That person just helped you they helped you stand so you can say that person is your helper or or you see a very old woman or old man walking down the road and they are carrying a big bag and it looks like oh this weight is too heavy for for an old person and you go to them and you say let me help you ma let me help you sir and you carry the load then you are that person's helper so we can have a helper and we can be a helper to other people essentially basically a helper is somebody who helps other people now as children of god we must know that we are special right and because we are special we have something very special and that thing is the holy spirit the holy spirit is our special helper given to us by god and how does the Holy Spirit help us? I'm sure you're wondering, right? Good. I'm going to tell you a story. This is a story of a very, very fantastic little boy, just like you, you know. He's a fantastic child, just like you. And he experienced the help of the Holy Spirit in a very beautiful way. So, everybody gather around. Yes, yes. It's time for you to sit down now. Sit down now and listen to me. Don't look anywhere. Don't go anywhere. It's story time, guys. It's time. For a story are you ready to listen all right so this is the story of Timmy Timmy was a wonderful little boy you know Timmy liked to play sing dance he was very very lively he, he had a lot of energy everybody knew Timmy he was always jumping always happy do you know why Timmy had a lot of energy because Timmy ate really well Timmy ate a lot Timmy really liked food and Timmy was always always happy to go for lunch breaks or dinner time he was always happy to eat and so what Timmy would do is whenever his mom called out to say it's time for dinner guys Timmy would be the first person at the dining table he's just there like okay let's eat now let's eat now but you know you have to pray before you eat why because we thank God so in Timmy's house that was the culture we thank God for the food so Timmy would wait okay mom let's pray let's thank God for the food let's quick quick hurry up hurry up hurry up Timmy was always like that you know and every time his mom would thank God for the food immediately she said in Jesus name we pray Timmy was like amen and just start eating straight up so one day it was meal time again and they went to the dining table now it was time to eat right and as usual timmy was first at the dining table and guess what today mom made timmy's favorite food timmy really loved yam and eggs so timmy saw on the table yam and eggs was like oh wow it's going to be a fantastic meal today so timmy was at the table but his sister wasn't at the table yet his mom wasn't at the table, his dad wasn't at the table, and he was like, we have to get the food. You know, we have to eat all this food now. Everybody come to the table. He was very, very like anxious. He just wanted to eat, but nobody came. So he thought to himself, mm, mm, mm. Timmy felt very clever for this idea. He was like, nobody can see me. So how about I just take a bite, right? So Timmy looked around, and because there was nobody around, he took a bite. Ah, it was delicious. Oof. Tim was like, this is why I love yam and eggs, yo. Tastes really good. 
So he looked around again. He was like, Mom. Mom didn't come. Dad? Dad wasn't there. So he was like, okay, I think I can take another bite. So Timmy took another bite. He's like, woo, it tastes so good. Now, his mom is coming so quickly. <clears throat> he swallows it and he's like, I did nothing. I saw nothing. So he's standing at the table normally. And when everyone gathers around, you know, they say the prayer to thank God for providing such a lovely meal for them. And then Timmy's mom, she notices that something is not quite right with Timmy's face. She's like, Timmy, did you have some of your food already? And she just asked. She wasn't angry. She just wanted to know. But Timmy was like, no, mom. I did not do that. <gasps> Guys, do you know what Timmy just did? Who, who, so, if you've been listening, can someone here tell me what Timmy just did? Yes, Timmy lied. Guys, do we tell lies? You're right, we don't tell lies. Why? Because we're children of God, and children of God don't lie. But Timmy told a lie. He said he didn't touch the food when he had two bites. So his mother said, okay, let's eat then. And so they had a beautiful dinner. And Timmy went to bed. But that night, Timmy was so disturbed. He was so worried. You know why, guys? He lied. And he could not stop thinking about the fact that he had lied. He just felt so bad. He kept thinking, oh, I should not have lied. Why did I lie? I should not have lied. He was so worried that he couldn't help himself. So he went back to his mother. He said, mom. I want to tell you something. And his mom was like, what is it? And he said, Mom, I lied to you. I actually ate out of my food. I'm so sorry that I lied. But I just couldn't stop thinking about the fact that I lied. So I want to confess for lying. Do you know what happened next? Timmy's mother hugged him. She was like, oh, my son, you are a good boy. Thank you for telling me the truth. And she said, also thank the Holy Spirit for helping you tell me the truth. Timmy was confused. He was like, the Holy Spirit helped me. How did the Holy Spirit do that? Did the Holy Spirit see me lying? So Timmy's mother opened the Bible. She told him, Timmy, open your Bible with me to the book of John, chapter 16, verse 8. And this is what she read out to him. She said, when the helper comes, he will prove to the people of the world the truth about sin about being right with God and about judgment. And Timmy was like, what does this mean? So Timmy's mother explained to him, like the scripture said, the helper will prove to the people of the world the truth about sin. Now, since lying is a sin, the truth about lying is that lying is not good. So the Holy Spirit helped Timmy to realize that lying is not good. And that is why he was able to go confess to his mother. So his mother told him, she said, anytime you want to do something or you're struggling with something, the first thing you must do is say, Holy Spirit, help me. You know why? Because the Holy Spirit is always there to help you. Once Timmy heard this, he was relieved. He was like, oh, so the Holy Spirit can help me anytime? His mother said yes. With anything, yes. And since that day, Timmy's favorite prayer became one that I'm going to teach you today. Timmy always said, Holy Spirit, help me. Whenever Timmy wanted to study, he would say, Holy Spirit, help me help me. Whenever he was going to school, on his way to school, he would say, Holy Spirit, help me today. Whenever he was offended, maybe his sister would do something to offend him or his friends in class would offend him, he would always say, Holy Spirit, help me. And that would just help him always to do the right thing. So now, I want to teach you guys this special prayer. It's simple. Holy Spirit, help me. Can you repeat after me, guys? Holy Spirit, help me let's say it again holy spirit help me beautiful that is amazing amazing so before i leave you i want us to discuss what are the lessons that you've learned from this story can anybody tell me what they've learned from this story mm -hmm. i'm listening lesson one ah yes that's correct we learn from this story that the Holy Spirit is our helper. That is the main lesson of this story. The Holy Spirit is my helper. The Holy Spirit is your helper. The Holy Spirit helps all of us. He is our helper, sent to us from God. Now, another lesson, now the lessons that I have learned from this story, another lesson that I have learned is that the Holy Spirit 
helps us to know when we've committed a sin. Like the Holy Spirit helped Timmy to know that lying was wrong. The Holy Spirit also helps us to know how to repent for our sins. It's like how Timmy just knew that he had to go to his mother and confess for lying. Yes, the Holy Spirit does that for us. Another thing that the Holy Spirit helps us do is that when we have done something and we are worried about it, is the Holy Spirit prompting us to help us know that we should not have done that thing. The Holy Spirit helps us know what we should not have done because sometimes we do something and it does not feel like we've seen or we say something and it doesn't sound bad but we somehow just, you know, you feel worried like, mm, should I have said that? Yes, that's the Holy Spirit telling you, maybe you should not have said that. And just like uh, just like Timmy's mother forgave him when he confessed, God is always willing, always ready to forgive us whenever we confess our sins. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, guys. It's, it's just it's wonderful. It makes me so happy to think about it. Every time I tell God, God, I'm sorry I did this, God is like, yes, you're my daughter. I forgive you. And he hugs me and it's so very warm and I'm so very happy and I'm so glad I confessed my sins anyways. And the last thing that I learned from this story, the last thing that I learned from this story is that the Holy Spirit can help us obey God and be good children. How so? Timmy confessed his sins. That's, that's the attribute of a good child. When you do something bad and you say, Mom, I'm sorry, Dad, I'm sorry. And guys, that is the end of today's lesson. I hope you learned something beautiful. I hope you wrote some notes. I hope you remember every time that the Holy Spirit is your helper now as i go let's all say one big prayer together everybody put your hands together and say dear holy spirit thank you for being my helper let's say one more time dear holy spirit thank you for being my helper all right guys till i come your way again remember your royalty bye bye Mwah. hello children once again, we have learned another thing today, that the Holy Spirit is our helper. He helps us do the right things if, and helps us to please God and obey God at all times. Would you like to do the right things? Would you like to obey God at all times and be God's friend? If you like to do that, I want you to say this prayer with me. Oh, you have to be the friend of Jesus to do it. You cannot get the help of the Holy Spirit without being his friend. So. Let's put our hands together and say this after me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I believe that you are the Son of God and that you came into this world to die for my sins and that you rose again on the third day. I invite you into my heart. Come and be my Lord and Savior and help me by your Spirit to always obey God and do the right things in Jesus' name. Amen. That is it, children. Welcome to the help of the Holy Spirit. From today, you begin to enjoy the help of the Holy Spirit and see yourself doing the right things, obeying God like never before and doing the right things at all times because the Holy Spirit is by you to help you do so. God bless you. Don't you ever forget your royalties. See you next time. Bye-bye.